Welcome everyone to part three of the Resident Evil Zero playthrough and are we dead? Well no, I can see you flinching, so yeah, you're alive. How well, could the, the hell did you survive a train crash? Well the screen hasn't flashed white yet, so <laughs> Where's Becky? Rebecca? No, don't let my little Becky die. There yeah, she is. There she is. Stop your whining. Are you alright? If you let Becky die, you have no soul. <laughs> The cuffs are still on Belly, even after all that. Surely they would have a battle with conducted the heat. <laughs> They're pretty tough handcuffs. Now get out immediately. So is this all the all the items you've fl fl flung here? The way items you picked up during the train. Everything you've picked up at least one time on the train, if it's not in your inventory, will be lying right there. Okay. That's why you need to if if there's anything you want to get from the train, you need to at least pick it up and leave it on the ground. Sewers. Are we gonna see some spiders? Or a giant fucking alligator. <laughs> yeah, that comes out of nowhere in Resident Evil 2. I think that is returning for the remake. Yeah, they did well. confirm that the giant alligator is coming back. Ah, and, I hated that thing. And Hunk is coming back. And Tofu. Tofu. <laughs> Just for context, ladies and gentlemen, there was a giant alligator that was the boss in Resident Evil 2 in the sewers, and it was insta kill if it managed to catch you. Um, now, here we are in our next location. Thank you, Belly. <laughs> it's also known as the training facility. This is where new employees of Umbrella like are taught the ropes on how things work and stuff. Huh. We saw that man before. This is James Marcus. First general manager, Dr. James Wasn't he one of the founding Marcus. members of Umbrella, actually? I believe so. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. She is not bought my deal of Wesker's yet. <laughs> I'll make her pay for that. I only have seven minutes to finalize the deal. <laughs> Where's this coming from? That sounds like a pre-recording. Maybe. But it sounds like it's coming through... No! Who the hell... <sighs> this Final Fantasy guy. It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. All I see is Sephiroth because of the hair. Yeah. What? Revenge on Umbrella. Because Umbrella, as we all know, has a very, very dark past. Uh, they, they train their staff and then stab them in the back. Yeah. This game chronicles exactly what happened to Dr. James Marcus as well, and we will see that through flashbacks. And this guy's out for revenge on Umbrella. Dr. Marcus? But why? <laughs> What's, what ties does he have to Marcus Dr. to want to take revenge from? Let me guess. Because he's in control of the leeches and Dr. Marcus is now dead, <laughs> dead this man is a young job, James Marcus. Maybe. He's young enough to be his son, actually, so that could be it. Come on, you can't you be serious. Uh, Billy, give me a minute to get changed. Wait, what? Right here? It's like, no, he, he, no, he, he looks and then he shakes his head. No, he like, looks away like a gentleman. No, 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 he looks and then looks again like, how does he do that? No, this is the only costume you get for Belly if you don't buy the DLC. Pretty awesome suit. I'll go alone. I get kind of a Frank West vibe from him here because of a hair. Oh, that's Dead Rising, isn't it? Yeah. Another Capcom franchise. Yeah. Too bad Dead Rising 2's PS4 port is utter garbage. It's a glitchy mess. Don't play that version of the game, folks. So what's our main goal here now that the train's done? Key hunting. A lot of it. Oh boy. <clears throat> you kind of like the police station in Resident Evil 2, actually. Now the first thing you want to do is head all the way over to this room. There's only one thing we need to get in here. After this file. Story time. Notice to all staff, this document is very old. Much of the writing is eligible. Fuck right. off and die. <laughs> I'm resigning. Fuck you all. Is that is that the short long story short version? <laughs> now nothing. No, in terms of files, enough. So entry code is eight fifteen. Eight is this 15. is this random every time you read it? No, it's set. That's one thing Outbreak would do as well. Is that it would give you like. Hence for the puzzles and the file notes. I think all the games do that, actually. Yeah. Outbreaks are a bit harder to figure out, and I actually felt really smart when I figured them out, actually. Oh, crank handle. But we've not got a crank. No. Get out! Crows. 
infected with the T virus, they'll just peck the shit out of you. They're an, they're more an, of annoyances rather than anything else. But the damage will add up after a while if they manage to reach you several times. So don't mm -hmm. give them that chance. No, you would think if there was if there if there were hands by the T virus, maybe their beaks would be able to lift you up and then drop you. Now there are two statues we need to find and complete because they're incomplete so far, and place them on that statue there. That's... We have. What, you tell me you just can't find the statues and they're not broken? No, here's the thing. You can find the broken statues and place them there, but the scales won't be evenly balanced out to unlock the next area. Mind you, that kind of reminds me of the original Resident Evil arrange mode where one of the crests is broken in two pieces and you gotta find both of them. Oh, God. Does advanced mode do that as well? You know? mm, I, don't, I don't know. Because the only thing I know about advanced mode is that it's ridiculously hard and there's hunters everywhere. This looks like a classroom. Yeah, I think it's like a conference room, actually. There is your, there is your saving grace. The typewriter. No pun intended. I swear, no pun intended. Colin's taking over your mind again. <laughs> no, he's just looking for like anything better than Republican credits. Republican credits are no good out here. I need something more real. <laughs> Okay, now, the, your only me method of saving in this game are the ink ribbons, and you only have a limited amount of them. If you run out, you won't be able to save anymore. So you have to consider carefully when you want to save, and okay. where you want to save, because you don't want to find yourself in a dead game. Like, if you save the game while you're in poison status, with no blue herb in sight, you've just fucked yourself, and you need to start again. Well, a literal dead game at that point. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're off. We're off. You're yeah, all going all over the place. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I think I'm drunk. <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm going back for the items. Yeah, everything that I'll need, anyway. Which means backtracking. Through the sewers. The skanky, manky sewers. It's like. Alligator! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what was it? Um. <laughs> Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator. <laughs> that is a real... I swear to you guys, that is a real video. How stupid can you be? Yeah. yeah unfortunately, there's no real way of writing. An animal with three letters in its name. Cat. Dog. Rat. And here's... Yeah, uh, I, w I was initially going to try and dodge my way around the zombies, but they're too... They're too... They're too close to each other, so and I don't want to risk the instant death. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Fuck. What, do you rather <laughs> die instantly? Because remember, again, uh, I haven't had it happen to me, but I've heard that if two two zombies grab you at once, that's instant kill. And I'm playing this on normal. Bye, but way. that's something you've heard. You don't know it for sure if you don't try it. I'd rather not find out the hard way. <laughs> I'm playing. Yeah, I'm playing this on normal difficulty. By the way, that. I, <laughs> that was me expecting the zombie to have reset its possession because usually the zombies reset their possession when you leave a room. Not that time though. Mind you, with the remake, there is a trick you can do to get the zombies to miss you is where you wait till they're really close and the minute they try to grab you, move away and they always miss. That's much harder to do in this game. They can actually still grab you after they've tried to grab you, which is bullshit. They... Well, if you're playing, well, I would say in the remake, but if the zombies are on the stairs in the remake, all they do is just barf on you. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That, ladies and gentlemen, is de facto classic Resident Evil, where you aim up with the shotgun and blast away at a zombie's head. <laughs> now, I should, pro I should probably bring up, up now how aiming works, is that you... There are three levels of aim. High, <laughs> mid, and low where you'll want to use low for smaller targets here. Shots will most of the time hit smaller targets like the dogs, but you'll want to aim low for like targets that are like on the ground, like the liquors in Resident Evil 2. Now I'm assuming because, yeah, I think this is because there's no analog control for the the aiming that ever, no matter where you point, if you point straight at the zombie, it's just going to hit it anyway. It's not going to miss bullets. Yeah. As long as they don't somehow pull a Neo and Matrix their way out of the path of the bullets. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Okay. Billy, what were you doing out there? Uh, nothing. So, Billy can't combine herbs, yet he knows how to use a hairspray really well. <laughs> huh? Well, if you don't know how to use hairspray at his age, then... Because <laughs> he's only in his 20s, but... 
At that point, you should have a lot of, like... Sort of Again, he was skills. in the fucking military. Yeah, the military, so... <laughs> it's no excuse. I'm sure one of the main reason, things in the military is to teach you how to, you know, how to heal yourself in battle. Well, he does that pretty well, but... He kind of combined the hairs for some reason. <laughs> Once a zombie's head has been destroyed, it won't be able to damage you anymore. So now that's Kaizo Pish, like in Resident Evil 4 or 5, where the enemies could still hit you after the heads have been blown <laughs> off. I, but... Well, you take the microfilm. There's an A and B microfilm. That room there is locked for now. We can't get in it yet. And here's your map. Let me guess. The areas that are green are fully complete. That's yeah. it. In terms of items. Oh, that's one thing I remake. Is when it comes to that game's like trophy list is really annoying for you. You have to pick up every item in the game in order to get one of the trophies. Because the thing is, one of the trophies you have to fill in the entire map of having explored everything but the thing is it doesn't class as fully explored until you picked up everything so you have to pick up every item in the game <laughs> it's like oh now Billy's the only one who's strong enough to actually use this crank because god forbid Becky be allowed to do it it's no like, if Becky no if Becky tried to do it she'd end up breaking the damn thing yeah if, it, it will notify that Becky isn't able to do it only Billy can do this so you have to send poor little vulnerable Becky up here can you imagine if um for the since this is a report this is a report remaster of the original game, can you imagine if Capcom actually update where you can actually actually play this two with player. two players? What the fuck is that? Giant bug. <laughs> Just go buy them. Those things have an instant kill attack as well, where they'll like slam you on the ground. I think they'll like break your back or something like that. So watch out for that. Okay. At, at close range, though, they'll just try and slash you with a claws. And, and you've, of course, and you've pissed off the crows. <laughs> I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> They're so picky. <laughs> like, well, I think like the novel. No, picky, not picky. Fuck's sake! Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> stare at me like I'm the fucking devil. <laughs> but as I was saying, can you imagine if they actually update this and you can actually have two players players play the campaign instead of one? It would have to drastically change the entire game at that point. So I don't know if they'd be able to do that. Don't go in that room there yet, because there's another two of those bugs in there. So I'm waiting until I get Belly back before I go in there, because there's another new weapon in there. A pretty awesome one. <laughs> one that's actually been in all the games since 2, I believe, actually. The grenade launcher. Ah. Uh, I don't think it was in the first game. It was just called a bazooka in the first game, actually. Would you like the bazooka? <laughs> the only thing I remember about the bazooka. Oh. oh, I can hear them up there. Yeah. Clicking. Well, listen and clicking. This is one thing I remember... Um, Stevie, it's locked. <laughs> you don't need to handle it twice. The candle is burnt out. Yeah, the door lock is somehow tied to the damn candle. A fucking candle. How does that work? Did exactly, the candle will virtually burn out because it's wax. Yeah, it's already burnt out. Wow. We'll have to come back this wow, he didn't even see it coming. Yeah, we'll have to come back that way at least once, so just take him out. When a zombie is facing the other way, they will have to take a little minute to try and grab you by turning around. So if you approach them from the right way, you can just run by them all together. Okay. Might want to not might not want to use your shotgun a lot because you've only got twelve shells left. I can manage. What do you doubt me? That's what I'm saying. Usually, when I get to middle little to ammo of the high power weapons I tend not to use them as much except for bosses I'm only like... using the shotgun to take out the zombies that are in the way at this point like there are some that I will need to take out well only on the hallways that you're gonna you know you're gonna frequently go by yeah that's why I'm taking them out but now we need okay. to go and gr grab our new weapon because we have another boss fight coming up pretty soon because the the giant room we were just in there where we had to that's going to be the boss area. Yeah. And it is... Uh, as, a, as a friend of ours actually found out the hard way, unfortunately, there is a rather easy to get killed by trap in this room coming up. I'll explain it when, I, when we get to it. But for now, go in here. Billy Cohen, exterminator. So how did they, how, how much did these guys take in terms of damage? Probably three or four. In fact, this is this is why I'm. Oh fuck! Of course they go for Becky. And that's them de that's them dead. Yeah. This is actually why I'm using the hunting gun now because I will be dropping it in favor of the regular shotgun later. 
Now the grenade launcher. Do we still have to do the traditional acid and nitrogen? Acid, and... flame, and explosive rounds for it. I because in the modern Resident Evil games, acid rounds didn't do really do that much. But in the classics, they were like you know one shot kill against lickers and hunters. And the G embryo in Resident Evil Two. Mm-hmm. So he picked up a white statue, but it's broken because of course get Capcom likes to pad out their games. <laughs> Now that room we just saw, the blue door, we can't go in there just yet. We'll have to wait until later to get a specific key to open it. Becky, you can climb the stairs faster than that. No, I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Hell, I was in the army. No, I just think I'll just be safe behind your manly shoulders. Now, there is a cage down there trap which is uh, stopping you from getting to a specific key. What you need to do here is you have to have Billy crank this up. Of course Word of warning, though. If if you accidentally have Billy let go of this while Becky's under that cage, that is instant kill. A friend of mine, ours actually unfortunately found that out the hard way by mistake. So I just want to put that out there right now. Do not have Billy let go of this while Becky's under it, or that's an immediate game over. I wonder who this friend of ours was. Hmm. Oh! A giant... What? Centipede. Hug me! <laughs> and... No! Is Rebecca dying? No. She's just, she's just getting a nice little hug from Ed. So... <laughs> now, how, how does this go? In all seriousness, though, this is a timed fight. If you don't kill this thing in time, Rebecca will die. And again, that's an immediate game over. A giant fucking centipede. Yeah, and what... It'll stop all the while to like take little bites at Becky and stuff, and we're not having that shit. So we're just gonna blow it away. And since Billy has the health he needs to manage this boss fight, because he can take a lot of damage, I don't have a healing item on me for now. But if this thing runs into you while it's moving around, are you damaging health, Rebecca there? No, no, <laughs> she's protected through plot armor. <laughs> if the centipede, as you just saw there, if the centipede runs into you while it's moving, it will do damage to you. So watch out for that. So don't stand directly in its line of... Again, why doesn't the centipede do the smart thing where it takes Rebecca and then get out? I'm surprised that isn't just throwing her at us to, like, floor us. <laughs> Maybe That'd it... be pretty cool, actually, if it threw her at us and then, we got, her back, and then yeah. we got her back to mm-hmm. play as again. But no, you must defeat this boss to save her, or it's an immediate game over, and we only have seven shots left. We're gonna have to make them count. You look like you missed there. Yeah, I think I did, actually. And as you saw, it was starting to chew at Becky there. And that's it now. No. Well, Rebecca's throwing off. Now it's done. I was actually starting to get a little worried there. <laughs> it takes at least twice as much ammo to kill on hard mode. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, hard mode in this game. Don't even attempt it unless you're ready for it, because hard mode in this will destroy you. And even normal mode is pretty difficult. This game is act. I would say this is actually one of the hardest classics, actually. There's a serious significant... There's a, se- there's a serious difficulty jump from easy to normal. Is this you showing off the top yeah. again? <laughs> Just what it shows. Aim for the head and you got me. But yeah, I would I, I would actually recommend, for your first time playing this game, play on easy mode. Because normal mode is no joke. And hard mode, well, <laughs> good luck. That top's actually not that bad, actually. Yeah, I quite like that one. Why don't they sell these tops as actual tops in your local stores <laughs> that you can get? Uh, don't you hate it, it when they you see stuff like that that you think they can, they could easily be made and you realise they're Japan only? Yeah. Uh, they get all the good stuff, especially when it comes to Pokemon. All the really good events. And through the magic of teleportation and <laughs> backtracking gets cut. Yeah, we got... Yeah, the key we just got after freeing Becky from that Touchy feely buggy <laughs> is now going to be used to get into a room that we need a key item in. And, and oh there's boy. three of them. Now, your AI part, there's me manipulating Becky with the right stick to get her out of harm's way. Right, okay. There's a lot of them in here actually, so. Just get them out of the way. Out! <laughs> get out! <laughs> Not risking the double grab insta kill. Because, <laughs> again, the zombies are at the most. Because. We haven't seen them group up on me like that much in this playthrough, but as a group, they're at their most dangerous. 
because they can and well all grab you at once and oh boy <laughs> that's the last thing you want so here I am just dropping them one at a time oh the camera's actually starting to change there along with me did you see that huh I think code Veronica actually has the camera follow you actually you better hope those bullets count to those those bodies <laughs> <laughs> that's just sort of the problem with the fixed camera angles you can't see your enemy Ah, uh, <laughs> come on! How can I now see? Now he's down. No, he's still alive. That's one thing. There's not. Yeah, as you can see there, that's him auto aiming towards the enemy, so it's still alive. Can you, is there an option to turn auto aim? Is it up, up, Is it by default? I think it's on by default. It was first introduced in I think the director's cut of Resident Evil One. Hmm. It was in Resident Evil Two. I know that much. You found the facility key and you used it. It's actually called the fire. If you examine it in the inventory, it actually is renamed fire key because it has a symbol of fire on it, I believe. Hmm. And we're in the kitchen. Lighter. Because, Lighter by the fuel. way, Billy's been... Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, <laughs> I hate when that happens. You have to switch the personal item there from the briefcase hmm. back to the whatever it is. Yeah, Billy's been walking around with an empty lighter this entire time, by the way. And we need the lighter. You know that room that was locked because of the candle? Uh, we can now get in there. Because you have to light up the candle. Yeah. I thought you had to go and find another candle. No. <laughs> well, we may be in the world of classic Resident Evil where everything is much slower, but you're overthinking things. <laughs> well, considering what Capcom likes to do. I have a strange feeling that Becky is doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Maybe the I should old... be doing nothing. Oh, the good old typewriter. Your only means of salvation. <laughs> Well, if, uh, and unfortunately for Mr. Redfield, he doesn't know how to use it. Oh, how do I use this? this? Well, he knows how to use it. It saves your game, but it's all gibberish. You yeah. like get, <laughs> get the Microsoft Word spell checker <laughs> and red underline. <laughs> no, Chris fires up. Yeah, Microsoft Word to save his progress. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Microsoft Word for dummies. <laughs> No, Microsoft Normal Word. Normal mode. Free no, save. Microsoft Word for Redfields. <laughs> now, this is where we'll be, we will be getting the shotgun. And if, as of this point, I'll be dropping the hug and gun for, in favour of it. It has more shots, but it doesn't do as much damage. But I like to have those extra shots. Oh, we're starting to run low on the handgun ammo. Yeah, that's because you're killing hmm. everything in sight. Well, these guys, I need to get the wrong button again there. <laughs> well, these guys are in the way. And again, it's very hard to dodge the zombies in this game. So. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at my fancy dance. No, it's like that, if you remember back in our RE5 playthrough, where you spun in place for a good yeah. few minutes. <laughs> Chapter 5. 1, I believe? Or five? Even, no, Colin, five even Colin was questioning what happened. Yeah. Now we have the regular shotgun. This is a pump action shotgun, which you have to like pump from every shot. So, it, <laughs> it's... Let's uh, pump. Okay. <laughs> I swear he. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Are you sure we're grown up adults here? <laughs> now here I am showing off an advanced technique where if you don't have enough inventory slots, you can pile up all the handgun ammo into one other player's inventory slot. Just oh, you can only. What you can. Oh, this is what I hate about the inventory <laughs> system. So you're like items you think you can make more than one space. Like, come on, seriously, we should be able to have more than three Molotov cocktails in one space. Yeah, this game does has have the option to use or combine herbs right on the spot. Though I think Resident Evil Outbreak did that as well. And that game's well overdue for a re-release at this point. No, it's like when you look at RE6, when you look at the machine gun, you can only carry sixty bullets mm -hmm. per inventory slot. I'm like, come on, that should be at least three hundred. You can carry two hundred and fifty-five handgun bullets in this game. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> eh? And as we question the logic of the ammo limits in RE6, we'll see you guys in the next part.